Hi, we have Chris Capone here, yeah, out, out here in the Tita Rufo, uh, Bologna. Um, today was a quite tra tragic day. Chris, can you tell me more about it? So, we were sleeping, having dreams about running in the meadows, and about counting sheep. And little did I know that I was rudely interrupted by this amazing dream by Tommy jumping out of bed and shouting. And initially I thought, I honestly thought for a fraction of a second that that he was pissed off with with his roommate because I heard some bangs. And I thought his roommate was being noisy. And so Tommy was annoyed that he woke us up. But no, the bangs were actually coming from the kitchen. And as soon as Tommy opened the door, uh, Great story, Tommy. the smoke came out everywhere. And this, there was basically a fire raging on in the kitchen, a pan was on fire and uh, we had to act quickly. So I I had a quick look in the kitchen as well. Uh, but it basically, I think we just, we, I just said immediately that we should just leave because we didn't have a fire extinguisher and trying to extinguish the flames ourselves would have been very risky because first of all, we don't guarantee, no guarantee we would have managed to. And second of all, we would have really inhaled too much smoke and it would have been really, really bad for us. Like we could have really, you know, most people that die from fires don't die from a fire, but from the asphyxiation of the, of the, of the smoke. So anyways, we just left the house and I called the emergency uh, fire department and they came, they took around 10 minutes. They called me again to ask if we needed an ambulance. And I said, yes, because Tommy basically took most of the smoke. Like he was not very sick, but he still was coughing and his eyes were red. So we wanted to make sure that he would be fine. So with the ambulance came with some, they put him in with some oxygen. Me and Tommy's roommate, uh, Luca, didn't really have anything happen to us, even for even smoke wise, because I was made, I was very careful to just leave ASAP. As soon as I saw the, I was right behind Tommy when he opened the door, but I had a look, quick look and I was like, yeah, we should just leave the house. And that's what happened. So then, yeah, fire brigade came. This whole street, bro, pan it. Just imagine this Like from street. there to a hole all the way there. Yeah. Cars, Carabinieri. Yeah, huge fire department truck. Then Carabinieri car. And then later on, the ambulance came. One of the ambulance came. And think about all the people on their balconies looking at what the fuck is going on. And what's passing by. And it was just us three, like, in the middle of it. We were the main uh, characters of this morning. Yeah, and obviously, you know, the, the fire department were very nice and helpful. And in the end, they they managed to extinguish it, I think, fairly quickly. But um, they also went inside with their masks to get our documents and stuff. And we got ID'd by the Carabinieri. And in the end, they were going to bring Tommy to the hospital. They also asked of us if we wanted to come. And I just thought that they sort of insisted the first to get checked just in case. Also, me and Luca. And so we all went to the hospital, like we, did, we honestly left the scene. We were here for like a good half hour, but then when we left, there was still crazy shit going on, you know? So we actually just were at the hospital all day. I, me and Luca went six hours for first for our treatment, which they really just took our blood. And, and you know, on, on the scene, right after the fire, they checked us with lights, but they saw that we were fine. We just had a bit of, black smoke on they basically nose. scammed uh <coughs> luca for 25 euros yeah because he has to pay 25 euros for that sick waiting six hours in the hospital and then getting his blood taken insane work uh and then we got back and we, we sort of just realized that we, we we had a look at the damage in the kitchen uh and we saw it's pretty extensive good morning um yeah we're now back at the house in parma we got picked up by the parents of Mark. I really greatly appreciate that. Um, yeah, it was very eventful the day yesterday. Um, Chris got rudely interrupted by my phone uh, storage being um, completely occupied, but I can uh, kind of tell you guys what uh, happened in the kitchen. It was crazy fire, so uh, it was pitch black, the wall, and uh, basically the fire was very condensed only on the stove. Um, luckily, it didn't spread everywhere in the fire uh, in the kitchen. Like ruining the whole kitchen would have been insane, you know. Like uh, I think we need 
a new extractor fan, new you know stove top, and uh, a good cleaning because um, it really smells in the apartment. It's horrid. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm good. Um, yeah, basically, what Chris told you, like I got most of the smoke, like because like I was like, what the hell is happening? What's this sound and everything? And um, the kitchen door was closed. I opened it and bang, like a big whiff, like just all over my body like wow i was pitch black for a second like my nose my nostrils my mouth they were like black um i saw it when i was like snort like uh, snorting out my nose and everything like blowing out my nose and everything like uh for for hours i was you know blowing out black tar and um yeah it was very it was a bit concerning because like you're in a health hospital you, like i did i was feeling all right but you know intoxication could like, you know slowly creep up or um yeah i think everything that you need to know is that my health is good and i'm good and uh chris and me came out on top of this and uh i'm now homeless in bologna but at least i can stay in parma which is now like an hour train or something like that makes my commute a bit harder um harder than it already was because always it was like a nine kilometer cycle but yeah, um, I haven't ca kept you guys very updated throughout the year. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, a lot of events has happened, um, especially in Bologna. Uh, I just want you guys to know that uh, I'm all right. Chris is all right. Um, I'm in Bologna. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in Parma with a, a life and well. And yeah, we will uh, see a lot more about what goes down in Bologna, how my studies continue in Bologna. And uh, yeah. We will see um, if I can find a house again. Wow, man. Wow. Oh, bro, the smell, bro. My body is sad. Like, can, I, can I bring them, bro? Do you think I can bring them? Oh, my God, the smell, man. Bro, the smell is horrendous, bro. I don't know. Bro, no, but the, there is something that... What? What was it? There was something in the pan, bro. What, what was it? Look, but like, look, this matter, like all this dirtiness, all this matter. This was in the pan. Like there was something in the pan burning. So someone, like, someone put something in the bro. Do, do you think it's him, bro? That he didn't want to live I, here. I don't know. That he didn't want to live here and like all this body to like you know, buy all the fucking rent and everything no bro why would he do that i don't know maybe he just did it by mistake Anyways. let's get this bro what's yeah. that coke but where's my milk who threw who threw up my milk that's some hater shit did someone take my milk did the guy take my fucking milk bro